And now, feel the power of the Sing Together. Second star to the right. This card is singing, and this card is singing. And we confirm. We are going to choose ourselves to draw five cards. We're going to gain five with Jafar. This is Specy's Green Jafar deck, and I'm super excited to try a Green Jafar deck because it's Jafar, and he was one of my favorite cards in all of set three. So it's only fitting that we give him a shot in set four, Ursula's Return. It's got some cool synergies with the Bruno Madrigal and top decking. How are you going to top deck? You're going to, I don't know. You top deck with this Jafar, and then you can name it with Bruno. That's pretty cool. Dolores is also a really good tech. Uh, when you play this character, if an opponent has an exerted card character in play, you may draw a card. So if they've quested, boom, you play your Dolores, and then you get to draw a card. On a 3-3 body, pretty good. The Muses is a card that people are wanting to play lately. The Gospel of Truth, whenever you play a song, you may return chosen character with two strength or less to the player's hand. So kind of like a Zisu, but way better because it's earlier it's a four cost you're chilling it has the morph to shift into jafar it has jafar to shift into jafar and then it also has morph to shift in a big ursula also this ursula and then this ursula this ursula is crazy because other characters can't exert to sing songs so ursula sure can sing a song but other characters cannot and that's important because we're going to want to sing our own songs but ursula can sing these but we won't ever be able to sing second star to the right as long as Ursula's on board. So second star on the right, this is our main like game win and play, late game with Jafar. Sing together 10, any of your, your or your teammates characters with a total cost of 10 or more may exert to sing this song for free. Chosen player draws five cards. So if Ursula takes part in that singing, if she's seven plus three is 10 and you sing it, you draw 10 cards, which is gonna be 10 lore with Jafar. It's the Wombo combo and we're gonna to try to make it happen if you know what I'm saying. Let's get into a match. This is what we learned in this video. Jafar is back, baby. Number two, sing together might be underrated right now. And number three, the muses are pretty cool in these matches. Look out for them. We get paired against the uh, Amber Ruby, which is been super good when I play it. I have a pretty good win percentage. We're looking for the Pegasus for our one drop, so we're going to kind of uh, mulligan quite a bit for that. We might keep striking a good match in Ursula and the Morph. I think we're okay with this mulligan. We get the big Jafar, strike a good match, bosses on the roll, and a Dolores. Dolores on Chorus which I think she might be, but we get to be on the draw, so that's good. We get to not decide our ink yet. They get to play something. It's the Mulan with damage on it already. Muses or Dolores. We kind of want to play the Muses, if anything. We don't have any one-cost cards, so we're going to go in and pass the turn. Our turn two is going to be a tough decision. It's either going to be a strike a gun match or a more if they have bare necessities to rip one of our uh, strike a gun matches or bosses on a roll. And they're seeing what we got. And they have the potential to rip all of our other cards uh, with more be prepared. So we got to keep that in mind. We might ink a strike a good match. They have a big decision to make. And it's going to be bosses on the roll. It looks like they don't want us to top deck and gain lower. We get friends on the other side, and that's good news for us because that's a great card for Ursula to sing. We're going to go ahead and ink that. And then for two, we are going to play our morph. Get a morph online. Morph can shift into Jafar at turn five. It's probably not going to stick around that long. There is a Teeth and Ambitions into the inkwell. They're at threesies. And for threesies, they pray the brawl to get rid of our morph. Goodbye, morph. We got a Dolores, Yahoo Chorus. I think at this point, we're going to ink the muses. No, because she can take that out, yeah. Is it really going to be Dolores? Too bad. So sad, Dolores. Welcome to the inkwell. And then we play our Ursula. And hopefully, we get to draw four cards with our friends on the other side next turn. My hair's doing all crazy things, dude. 
they get to heal some damage. Woof. And then get to quest for one big one. That let them draw some cards, but then they're out of ink for the turn. There's Bruno. Bruno. First we're going to sing. Draw some cards. Strike a good match with the Muses. We're going to play it again from the discard for Freezies. And then it goes on the bottom of our deck. Four. Do that. Four. We could banish their thing there. The moon launch shift is five, yeah? So we high key want to get rid of moon launch shift. We'll link Chernobog here. And we'll play Muses, and we would love to target this, but we're going to do that. Oh, is it only one quest? Whenever you play a song, you may return chosen character with two or less. Bummer, we did that out of order. So that's what we learned in this video. Happened right here in front of us. We should have inked and played this, and then sang a song, and then we could have banished one of these. And we actually could have banished both of them. So we made a, a whoops. And they know it, so we're going to go with a, a thanks. But now we understand how Muses works. It's not how we thought it worked. That literally would have wiped their board if we did it in the correct order. But we're chilling. There's the quest for two with Rapunzel. And the quest for one with Mulan. There's the Ariel into the Inkwell. And if they don't take out your girl, ooh, they do. If they didn't take out your girl, we'd be able to... Take out their cards. There's Ursula. Whenever you play a song, you may return chosen character with two strength or less to their player's hand. We can still ink this turn, so maybe we do use that to top deck. So we'll get rid of that. And then we'll get rid of Mulan here. The reason why we didn't go for a song is we don't want to bounce Rapunzel back to hand and then they play Rapunzel and heal their Maui. That was the idea there. Here's going to be the Jafar. And I think that's perfect. I think that's what we want. Because we can literally sing that next turn and get five cards. And we pass the turn. If they have be prepared, they have be prepared. Or if they have Dragonfire, they have Dragonfire. But... We're chilling. Either way, we're just out here for the memes. There's Mulan into the Inkwell, the one that we return to their hand. And then they play a Julieta Madrigal, who gets to heal a damage off of uh, Maui, and then they get to draw a card. Ooh, they get to heal two damage. That's crazy. It's uh, almost as good as a Rapunzel. There's Teeth and Ambitions to do two damage, and then uh, get rid of our Jafar. Goodbye, Jafar. Now he's Jafar out of there. When he's Jafar near. Um, so if we play the other Muse. And then Ink. And then Sing. We don't have to Sing. We can just play it. And then we can return both of those characters. Discard the other card. Let me go here. And we will return Julieta. And we will return Rapunzel. 
And we will pass the turn. They hit us with the fangs. Puts Ariel into the inkwell face down. And there's a legendary Snow White. Whenever this character quests, you may return a character card from your discard to your hand. They have no character cards in the discard. Four four, if you want to be exerted. That's what's for dinner tonight. A Pegasus and an Ursula. And we're passing. We're doing weird things. Juliet into the inkwell. They played Ariel the singer. Spectacular. Not, she's not spectacular. She is a singing mermaid. One of them sirens. Ink the Chernabog. Get out your boy onto the battlefield. And we pass again. And hope they don't have some crazy wombo combo for us. We've really built a board here. We're going to get to draw five cards. We're going to get to draw ten cards. Which is 25% of the... Oh, and then they dragon fire at Jafar. Goodbye, Jafar. Catch you on the flippity flip. There's a more. Sing together. Three, seven, eleven. Confirm. I want to draw the cards. I draw five. And then I select to sing it again from the discard. And we will return Ursula back to hand. And we'll return a Muses back to hand? That's crazy. And then we draw five cards. And then we don't do that, right? Yeah. They quest for six. They hit us with well played. Do we have anything to bounce one of their characters? Not a chance, but we'll play it. Dolores, Yahoo Chorus, to draw a card. It's second star on the right. Here's a more. And we'll ink an Ursula. And we'll play an Ursula. And we'll press confirm. And then Pegasus is going to quest for one. We're on the board, boys. And then we pass turn. That's all we could do. We have a bunch of cards, but they're just going to hit us with the quest. We had the Wombo Combos, but they had the uh, Bombo Mambos, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> There's the defeat 20 to 1. On to the next game. We get paired against Mr. Cat Tongue 3. It's kind of kind of like Velcro. Cat Tongues are, huh? Yeah? Quality contact going on here. Uh, second start of the right, get out of here. You're not going to fool us again. Jafar, get out of here. You're not going to fool us again. Muses were pretty cool. You're going to fool us again. We'll keep you for ink because why not? And then we will. That will be your mulligan. There's the big dragon into the ink. Well, love to see it. And there's the ice block. Hate to see it. Dolores into the ink. Well, get out of here, girl. And then welcome to the battlefield. Chernabog's followers. We pass the turn. Do you pass the turn? That's crazy. That is Riz. Nope. Um, there is Bell. 
End of the inkwell, and they play another ice block. Yikes. We'll get rid of Chain of Ice followers here. Play a little Ursula action. Hiram, Fishbone. We won't draw a card here so they could Hiram it, it or they could uh, Brawl it if they want to. They could also Brawl this thing. So we're trying to bait out the Brawl. There's the Brawl into the Inkwell. Good to know. And there's the Fishbone. They're up to three items in Avalanche. Would be super cool. There's the fourth item. What's our shift cost? Five. Yup. 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 We're not going to draw a card with them because they have nothing on board. They're not going to be able to take it out, right? And then we pass. Probably should have remembered what that was. Probably would have been easy to remember what that was. It's out of my mind now. It's Hiram. Duh. We remembered what it was. They're going to banish one of their ice blocks. Which is a weird move. I probably would have banished uh, this because ice block is pretty useful in this matchup. Especially when I shoot. They did all kinds of crazy things there. We ink more. And we get muses on board. It's a you may, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sing with Ursula. We get to draw four cards. So return Hiram to hand, so they'll have to pay four to draw cards, and then we will get to sing it again, again from the discard. And we're not going to return chosen character, even though maybe we should with a Maui Rush available. We're not going to draw a card, even with a Maui Rush available to them. And then we pass. Chatterbox followers have gotten us a total of three lore. There's Hiram. They had to spend lots of ink to do it. That makes us happy. Where's Tom of the Toa? All right. We could literally draw 10 cards right now. Which might be pretty cool. Took all of our characters, but we get 10 cards. We're going to return their Hiram to hand. And then we're gonna draw another 10 cards. Five cards. And look at this hand, it goes crazy. And we're not gonna return a character. Pay three for Jafarzis. We will top deck that, yes. Should ink Bruno. This is gonna be a while before we play a Bruno. Then we'll hand check. What do they got? It's Hiram Flaversham. Should have known because we put it back in his hand just this turn. And then we pass if they draw a uh, be prepared. That'd be pretty sicko mode. But it doesn't look like it. There's the Hiram Flaversham. And looks like we will be able to double sing with Jafar and that. And we will get the Wombo Combo. Should be able to win yet. Ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14. Yikes. I think we just barely don't win. Um, all right, here we go. Bruno Madrigal into the inkwell. We are going to shift Jafar. And now feel the power of the sing together. Second star to the right. This card is singing and this card is singing. And we confirm we are going to choose ourselves to draw five cards. We're going to gain five with Jafar. We will select the muses to return their Hiram back to hand. And then we will select Ursula to sing the song again from the discard. We draw another five cards. And that's going to make Jafar gain another ten lore. We're going to choose not to bounce a card back with those girls. And then we will sing... Friends on the other side with our muses to draw three and gain three with your boy. And then we won't draw. And then we just quest, quest, quest. And there's the game. Thanks for watching, guys. Jafar does Jafar things.